Hi singers, Chris Beatty here for VocalCoach.com and blog.vocalcoach.com. I just posted a new blog and it was in response to an email by one of our blog readers and he said this. He said, Chris, I'm having a voice problem and need your input. I've been using your training CDs for a few years now and they've helped me a lot. But here's my problem. When I first start a song, I feel short of breath. My voice feels unstable. After a few words, it gets better, but I still have a problem with my voice breaking or quivering. It's not solid or stable. Is this a throat problem, breathing? Your comments would be greatly appreciated. Well, the answer to that problem with instability in the voice has several parts and several things we need to look at. The, uh, the first is the possibility that anxiety is the problem. And any time that you are more anxious, then your voice is secure. Anytime you're more anxious than your voice technique uh, is secure, there's a problem because that's going to affect your posture. It can get you from this to kind of tentative. It's going to affect your breath control and breath management. It will affect the tone quality of your voice because if you mess with your posture or get really tense, it's going to be reflected in your voice. And it, uh, it'll even affect your diction and certainly your expression and your ability to convey the song to the listener. So let's go through some of those points that affect anxiety. Uh, the first thing you want to do to get good muscle memory to be secure even when you're nervous is to establish good posture. How do you find good posture? Well the simplest way is to just lift your arms straight up in the air and you will feel this will bring the head back over the shoulders. It will bring the chest up where it needs to be. You don't need to be lifting it in any uh, ex extreme position. Then when you let your arms down, the shoulders completely relax, but the chest stays where it was, the ribs stay where they were, and that's a good posture for you. And then breathing. How do we simplify breathing in just a few minutes? Well, if you were to lay down on the floor and put your hands on your abdomen and just breathe, just relax and breathe and see how naturally your body knows how to do it. And what you'll feel is the abdomen will be going up when you breathe in, down when you breathe out, up when you breathe in, out or down when you breathe out. And then to add a little more resistance to it and feel the other muscles that are involved in this respiratory process, you want to start taking the air in on a sipping sound, pursing the lips, and you'll feel not only the abdomen expanding, but also the sides below the ribs and the waist in the back. When you let the air out, let it out on a and you'll feel more contraction in the abdominal areas. It's trying to push the air out through that sibilant S. Then move on to some very systematic You don't have to do all that right away, but that's how you start to feel and experience the muscles that should be used in the breathing. You'll notice that none of it was using <gasps> lifting chest, but rather it was using the muscles in the frontal abdominal wall, the sides, and the back of the waist. Another area you want to pay attention to is the tone or the sound of your voice. Now the sound of your voice is not only something you hear, but the tone quality is something that you feel. If I start to hum like that, I can feel the sensations of buzzing in the sinuses, nasal passages, oral cavity. My whole head comes alive with sound as the overtones and the harmonics start vibrating through different parts of the body. That doesn't take a lot of breath. It doesn't take very much work. And here I am just going, Mia, 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 and I'm feeling all this liveness, this resonance in the face. Then I can hum a song and then duplicate that feeling of the harmonics and the resonance in the face when you start to sing your song. What you'll realize is the throat is very relaxed, the sound carries easily with minimal breath. 
that's muscle memory. You can memorize all these things and reproduce this free resonant sound. Now, another area you want to pay attention to is diction. Diction, enunciation, pronunciation, it's, it's the forming of the words so that the listener can get the message, not just the music. And with the lips, tongue, and teeth doing their part, and maybe working a little harder than you do in normal speech, you'll find that not only does the listener get the message, but the tone is freer and more relaxed, because when you mumble, and when the words are unclear like this, the ear hears that you're mumbling, the ear tells the brain, and the brain, for some reason, oftentimes tries to get the larynx involved, so you start doing work in the throat area, which of course can never help the diction. So there you have it. Some areas to look at. Anxiety, posture, breathing, tone, and diction. And as you pay attention to all these areas, you become more secure and you can consistently reproduce a good sound. So that'll take away some of that instability and that unsettled, tentative uh, sound to your voice. I hope this helps. For VocalCoach.com, this is Chris Beatty.